North Korea has produced a nuclear warhead capable of being fitted onto smaller short-range missiles targeting South Korean and U.S. forces on the Korean Peninsula. North Korea leader Kim Jong-un reportedly called for expanding production of nuclear material in order to manufacture more weapons, as photos showed him next to a warhead named Wasan-31, and diagrams of the warhead inside various missiles during the inspection. Photos published showed the DPRK leader inspecting at least 10 red and green painted nuclear warheads on stands inside a showroom at the Nuclear Weapons Institute. Full models of a Wasal-2 long-range cruise missile, KN-25 600mm multiple launch rocket system and KN-23 short-range ballistic missile, SRBM, also appeared alongside the warheads. In addition, diagrams displayed on the wall showed the Wasan-31 warhead being fitted onto a range of other large and small missiles. The word Wasan means volcano in Korean. Kim Jong-un is sending a message to the U.S. and South Korea that the warheads are already being mass-produced in module form and deployed across at least eight missile types seen in the images published. From the nuclear warheads unveiled by North Korea, it appears that North Korea has been working on a specific fission bomb design, at least for its tactical weapons. This means that these bombs can be produced in large numbers and deployed in various tactical platforms, which significantly reduces the cost of research, development, field testing and mass production of bombs. The bomb shown is probably a multipoint spherical design, meaning an advanced design with a large number of miniaturized explosive lenses. The original Fat Man U.S. bomb is the most primitive possible multipoint implosion weapon. Alternatively, this may be a first-generation two-point bomb design, as seen in the U.S. Swan device and primary developed into the W-45 warhead. If it is two-point, that is the first step in the development chain that leads to modern compact nuclear and thermonuclear weapons like the U.S., Russia, France and England use today. The fissile material used in these bombs is probably plutonium-239, but since it is difficult to produce in large quantities, it is likely that the North Koreans have considered a plutonium-uranium core, called a composite core which means that in this type of core the first layer is plutonium-239 because of its higher facility, and the second thicker layer is uranium-235. Such cores are larger than the usual plutonium cores but smaller than uranium cores. Until more plutonium is produced, composite cores remain an option. In such composite cores, 1 to 1.5 kilograms of plutonium is sufficient, which drastically reduces fissile material consumption. Otherwise, up to 5 kilograms of plutonium are needed. Currently it is estimated that North Korea is capable of producing 50 kilograms of plutonium-239 per year. North Korea had increased its enrichment capacity earlier and uses Pakistani-based centrifuges. As for the size of the bomb, it has a diameter of about 40 centimeters. Thanks to this size, the bomb can currently be mounted on various missile platforms, as shown here. However, the size can still be reduced further by using boosting technology which means using tritium and deuterium for fusion at the core of the bomb to massively accelerate the fission process in its early stages. The yield of the displayed bombs should be around 10 kilotons of TNT. Installing this warhead on the KN-25 600mm multiple launch rocket system with a range of up to 400 kilometers means very bad news for South Korea. The combination of a fission bomb plus long-ranger rockets will be very scary, especially since they will be launched in a staggering number. Thanks for watching and see you next time.